next speaker is Tim Williams. He is an advanced communicator, bronze, and competent leader. And he is speaking from the Leadership Excellence Series. The name of his speech title is Goal Setting and Planning. It's a 10 to 15 minute speech. And we will use the time and lights accordingly. Please help me welcome to the lecture the position of power, Tim Williams. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters. Good evening. Timer, this is a 10 to 15 minute speech, but give me a green light at 8. I'm going to aim to the lower end because I'm cognizant we have another speaker. So please, at 8, give me the green, 9 yellow, 10 red, and we'll move right along. I opened up this uh, meeting talking about goals, and my speech has a lot to do with goals. I talked about how resolutions are a waste of time, and that is true. Most people never complete them. You've got to have goals. My speech <laughs> deals with goals for the club level, but they can also apply to the personal level. So please keep that in mind as I'm speaking, and hopefully I can help all of you in your goal-setting endeavors. When I was younger, I wasn't good at setting goals. It's something I had to learn, and it's a skill that I believe all of us have to learn and get better at. And we obviously want to make this club that we're a part of get better too, and we have to implement goals to make it better. And I'm sure there's some here already, but hopefully I can inject some parts that will help it get better. But goal setting and planning, the name of my speech. I'm going to introduce by saying successful leaders focus on what they want to achieve. And all of us here are leaders and are out to make ourselves better leaders. They know what they want and they devise ways to get it. The secret to their success and their ability is to set and achieve specific goals. The abilities to set clear goals and plan how to achieve them are important leadership skills. If you cannot identify and communicate goals and plan how to achieve them, you will have difficulty fulfilling other leadership responsibilities. Now, I have some handouts on the desk, and I know it's probably hard to get them to everybody, but just look at them the best you can. i got to realize we've got more people coming to print out more in the future. But I will start off by defining what a goal is. A goal is a specific objective you or your team must achieve. Also in this speech, I'm going to talk about a plan. A plan is a blueprint for achieving those goals. Now, there are several characteristics of goals that we all must take note of. Goals should not be the grand or complex. They need to only be statements of results you hope to achieve. For example, on, on the club level, a Toastmasters president goal might be to reach a distinguished club status by June 30th of this year. A vice president of Toastmasters, their goal might be to have three members receive a competent communicator award by, by May 31st, for example. A goal has several characteristics to it. First off, it has to be specific. If it's not specific, it's not a goal. It has to clearly state what must happen. I talked about losing weight earlier because that's the number one resolution or goal that people have. Two-thirds of Americans are overweight or obese, so I guess it's a good thing to consider. But just saying I want to lose weight isn't going to get it. You have to have a specific goal that is measurable with that. You have to say that I want to lose 20 pounds by March 15th. Anything else is just a dream. So it has to be specific. Goals got to be measurable where the, where the results of those goals can be easily validated. It's been said that you can't manage what you can't measure. So if it's not measurable, you can't really manage any goal that you have set. It's got to be action-oriented. It has to be Begin with the word to, and followed by a verb like to lose weight, to gain more money in my retirement account, to gain more friends, to make more people happy. That's, that's what it has to be. It has to be action-oriented. It has to be realistic. If you need to lose 100 pounds, you can't say, I'm going to lose 100 pounds in one month because it will kill you. So it's got to be realistic. It is challenging, yet practical and achievable, not too high or too low. It has to be time-bounded. It has to have a timetable for the achievement. I 
that you've already spoke about that earlier. Something else I want to add to that that isn't in the notes that I downloaded from the Toastmasters site is that goal has to be yours also, yours only. I know we have Dr. Tim Barrio in the back. He's obviously achieved the goal of becoming a physician. Very impressive. If he only did that because that was his mother's goal and not his own, then I don't know if I would want to be his patient. <laughs> so a goal has to be yours. It really can't be somebody else's. Now on the club level, it's important to implement goals that we set out to achieve. You have to involve team members in setting your goals. You do that at work. If you're a boss or a manager at work, you have a team, usually set those goals for them. And of course, if you're an employee, you tend to achieve what your boss's goals are. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. But in that situation, you have to involve people in, in doing that. And I know I've been on both ends where I've been the person in charge and I've been the person being led. And I've had to help people achieve their goals. And I, and when they gave me clear guidance on how to do that, I knew what I was doing and I worked hard to help them achieve that. And the same was when, was when, when I was on the other end of that side also. People will increase their commitment to goals when they are involved in setting them. So it's important to involve others in setting the goals. And write each goal down for the best results. And consider what you must do to achieve it. And, reg and always go back and review those goals. Look at them and see how you're coming along. Sit down with people and say, maybe ask them what you need to do better to achieve them. Or if you see where they're maybe going off the path, you can direct them in the right direction to keep them going. I know in the military they do that a lot for you. Now I talked about planning. A plan describes how a goal will be achieved. It provides the structure needed to accomplish all your activities. Planning reinforces the goals. Planning makes leaders more future oriented. Planning enables leaders to coordinate decisions. If you don't have a plan that's laid out, you really can't make an informed decision. Planning ensures efficient uses of resources. You can have all the resources in the world, but if you don't have a proper plan documenting them, they will just be used in a manner that we don't want to see happen. Now there's five steps to planning, and you'll see it on your, your slides that I have before you. Once all these goals are determined, the planning process can be broken down into five easy steps. You establish strategies to identify how you achieve the goal and list all the specific sets. For example, if a club president's goal is to be the distinguished club, like I said earlier, you should list the specific steps that you must take to achieve that goal, to, to, to achieve the distinguished club program. And I think this club has already achieved that, to the best of my knowledge. And if I'm not, you can correct me where I'm wrong. Set a timetable. A club should establish a deadline for meeting a certain goal, no matter what that is. Number three is assign responsibilities. Delegate tasks to the team and task the person that is best suited for that. Um, anticipate obstacles. There's always going to be obstacles. No matter what the line of work is, whether it's a club, whether it's a business, there's always going to be obstacles. And you have to, you have to plan for those obstacles <coughs> and be prepared to overcome them when they come your way. And then, of course, modify the plan as necessary. For example, if the Vice President of Education realizes that one of the individuals trying to achieve their CC award would not achieve it in time, then he or she looks at the rest of the club members who may be close to achieving to fulfill that goal. Now, I'm getting near the end of my speech, so I'm going to get ready to wrap this up. But Careful goal setting and planning are the keys to achieving results and making an individual a successful leader. By using the information con conveyed, a person will be able to set goals and develop plans that will result in achieving those goals. Everybody here has to have a goal, and you have to know you're going. Sometimes we have set goals and, and didn't know we had them, and we just went about our way achieving them. And a lot of times that was done for us when we were in college or when we were new on a job, or, or even by our own family. But we have to have goals. We have to have them on a personal level. We have to have them on a club level. You have to have them uh, 
no matter what it is in your life you're doing, whether you're, whether it's in your uh, in your personal life, in your relationships, if you go to church, in your spiritual life, obviously if you're trying to improve your physical fitness, you have goals there. One of my favorite speakers on the subject of goals is the late great Zig Ziglar. He was one of the the greatest speakers in that area, and I learned a lot from him. And without a goal, um, everything is just a dream. And you have to have a, have a goal to fulfill those dreams, because without it, it's just going to be a dream, and you're going to end up taking that dream to your, your grave with you. And, and you want to have a goal that's measurable that you can achieve, whether it's personal and at the club level. And I'm glad to see there's goals set here, and I'm going to do everything I can to help this club achieve the goals that we have set. Mr. Toastmaster.